So a lot of things have changed in Udon since the time I made my first tutorial, which is a simple game object toggle. And I've been noticing in the comments that a few people have been having some difficulties since the updates. So I'm going to revisit that tutorial to show off how we do it in the new system for the new Udon node graph. So to start us out, we'll go up to VRChat SDK up here, Udon graph, and it'll pull up this window for us. Now, this is just the launch window. We won't need to go anywhere from here, but there are four settings right here that we want to check out. One, if you want to have uh, your nodes snap to the grid, we can change the values here. I recommend 20, so it snaps directly onto the grids. Then these two, you just always want on. Uh, focus search on selected node and search on noodle drop. Uh, I personally use a neon style. Uh, it's all preference, but this these are my settings for this. If we come back here, I have a folder for scripts. I'll just right click, create, VRChat, Udon, and Udon Graph Program Asset. So we'll click that, and I will call this Object Toggle, because we'll be able to toggle any object, not just the mirror itself. I have a button over here for mirror toggle. I have one called mirror toggle sharp as well, and we'll be doing a Udon sharp script for that, which will be the same as the old tutorial, but just we'll keep everything covered in the new one. So we'll do add component Udon behavior, hit enter, and we can drag our program asset right over here. Now we want to open Udon graph, and that will open it in the window earlier, but here we got our nice big graph space that we can work with. So the first thing that we want to do is have this object right here, our button, be able to interact with our mirror right here. So if we open this back up, we want to have a public game object variable. Now this is just a way for the button to store information about another object. So we'll do plus to add a variable and type game and do game object right here. Don't do the brackets as that's a different type of variable that we'll cover in a later video. But right now we just want plain game object. Now you see it automatically calls it new variable and that's not very intuitive. So we will call this target. That is the object that this script will be targeting with its effect. Now one thing that we need to do though is hit the drop down right here and press public. This is because we want to be able to access this variable from outside of just where we're coding right here. So if we hit public and go over to this button and hit compile, you'll see over here we have a new slot right here where we can put an object for our target variable. And we'll just do that and grab the VRC mirror object and put it into toggle. Now, everything that happens in Udon or scripting in general typically happens inside of an event. And the event that we specifically want for when someone clicks a button is interact. So we can just hit space anywhere and that will open up a quick search. And we can either go through events and hit interact here or we can just type interact and we can select the first one right here, event interact. Now what we want to do is turn our target object off if it's on and back on again if it's off. So we will grab our target variable right here. We'll just click the word and drag it out and we have a reference to that target. And we'll drag out from here and since we've enabled search from noodle drop, it will automatically open up a window for us to search for anything that this object can interact with. Well, this specific node right here. So we want set active because we want to set if it's active or not. And since this will be happening inside the interact event, we'll just plug this in. We have our out right here and we have our in here. So as soon as interact happens, it will go to this node and we can do stuff that happens there. However, this node automatically comes with a checkbox that tells it whether we want it to be on or off at any time. So what we want to do is set it to the opposite of what our target object is by default. So we need to drag out from here and do another search. 
and do get active self. Here we go. Uh, this will tell us whether or not the object is active. There's two different options here. There's game object active self or active in hierarchy. And I'll show you quick what the difference is. So if I create a new game object and I put a, a cube inside of it and we go to our scene, we can toggle it on and off from this check mark right here. However, we can also toggle it on and off from clicking the game object that is the parent to it and toggling this on and off. Active self would be this check mark and active in hierarchy means if this is off, this object will be considered off as well, even if this cube object right here is still enabled. So right now, this value gets true if it's active and false if it's inactive. And that's not useful for us at the moment because if we just plug this in, it will be, oh, the object is on, we will turn it on. And that doesn't make any sense. So we'll just drag this out here and click away. And ooh, uh, sometimes you get some visual bugs. Just hit reload and everything will be fine. So we want to do a inversion of this value. And to do that, we have to search a fancy name, unary negation. Here we go. And all this does is take a true value and make it false or take a false value and make it true. So we'll put this right here and we'll take this inverted value and set it right here in there. We'll hit compile and everything should work. So we'll boot up the game and make sure everything works. We have the VRC mirror put into our target variable right here and everything's compiled. So let's check it out. All right, we're here in game and we have our button over here. We can click on it and the mirror turns off and on again when we click. Perfect, let's head back into the editor and show off how to do it in Udon Sharp. Just as a quick note, uh, you can only use interact as an event on objects that have a collider on them directly. Children of this object that have colliders on it don't count, unfortunately. Let's get to the U Sharp script. So we'll go back into our project here. We'll right click, hit create, and U Sharp. This is all after I've imported the Udon Sharp asset, which I will have linked in the description. So we will do object toggle, and I'll just put Sharp after this so we can distinguish it from the normal asset. All right, so what you might notice is that on importing a script, VRChat has decided that its mirror has gone uh, pure white. That's fine. It, it, it'll be normal in the game again, and it'll return to normal as soon as you reload Unity. And sometimes it just fixes itself for whatever reason. So we, we don't actually know. So we can go to our button over here, and we have a box collider. So we can either go Udon behavior, and then drag our U sharp value onto here and that will give you everything or you can take the C sharp script drag it on here and it'll pop it here and then it'll ask you to convert to udon behavior so this way you can access this from with, uh, without having to go and add an udon behavior value on it if you have your project window open. So my scripting editor is Visual Studio Code, and I highly recommend it for anyone getting into scripting because it is very easy to use and has a very clean and not interruptive UI whatsoever. All right, so let's zoom in by Control and Plus a couple times, and it starts us out with a start event, and we don't need that, so we'll just delete all that. We're first going to need a reference to our public game object target, which will be the object we toggle on and off again. And that's just a public game object target. And that's it. That is our variable. So now we need to go to our event interact and we just do that by private void interact. Now it's underlined here, but that's fine. We can just ignore this. What we want to do is set our target to be inverse. So target dot set active, then in parentheses here, we will do target dot active self. Now this will set it once again to be true if it's true. 
So we need to go in front of this value and tell it to do the opposite of what we're giving it. So let's go right in front of this and hit uh, exclamation point. And there we go. We have the opposite of the value it presently is. So we'll hit control S to save and head back into Unity. Now Unity automatically imports any new changes to scripts. So we'll have to wait a little bit here and we're done. However, we do want to make sure that Udon Sharp is able to correctly interpret this script into a, a fake Udon Graph script. So we'll go over here and hit force compile script, though I typically hit compile all Udon Sharp programs just because it's a bit safer. You see we have our target slot right here, so we'll grab our VRC mirror object once again and drop it into target. One of the great things about Udon Sharp is that it has this button right here, right now it's grayed out, that says trigger interact. This allows us to simulate the player clicking the button so you don't always have to load directly into the game to test any changes. So we're gonna start up Unity and hit play so that we can test this button right here. All right, now that we've hit play, our mirror has returned to us. So we'll hit trigger interact, it's off, and it's back again, perfect. Now let's load up into game just to prove that all of this works. All right, so we have our button from before. We can toggle it on and off. And if we come back to our new button, you'll see we get the same effect here. Uh, you can actually use them at the same time as well. We can turn it off with this and turn it on with that because it's effectively doing the same thing. So there you have it. That is a remake of my first tutorial actually. And Hopefully I can direct people to this one instead, as the first one was made when I was awake at 2 in the morning. As always, all the links will be in the description to downloading the base Udon SDK, the Udon Sharp SDK, and all of my social information as well for like Twitter or different things like that. So I hope you enjoy. See you again.